Hi friends, welcome back. Let's discuss the next problem on static timing analysis. So friends, if you see this circuit diagram looks familiar or we have already discussed some problems related to this particular diagram. But if you see one thing which is different in this circuit is the range of combinational logic delay. So here the combinational logic delay can vary between 1 nanosecond to 2 nanosecond. So let's first discuss how this range of this combinational delay is going to affect our setup and hold timing equations. This is the value we should take for our setup analysis and which one we should take for our hold analysis. Okay, so here if you see the minimum value of the combinational logic delay is 1 nanosecond and the maximum value is 2 nanosecond. So friends, if you have gone through my setup and hold timing equation chapter where we derived the setup and uh, hold timing equations. So if you have not gone through that chapter, I will provide the link of that chapter in the description section of this video. So before going and analyzing this particular equation, first I would recommend to go to that chapter and then try to understand this equation. So there we saw that, let's assume that this is our clock signal. And here if you see the clock which is going to the launch flow, this is our launch flow and this is our capture flow. There is no clock skew and all between the launch and capture flip flow in the clock path. So if this is our clock signal which is getting applied to our launch flip flow, then we will have the similar clock signal which will get applied to our, to our capture flip flow. Okay. So let's assume that this is our launch flip flop clock signal and this is our capture flip flop clock signal so if the data is launched at this particular clock edge of the launch clock signal then this data will be captured by the capture flip flop at the next clock edge which is this one and as per the setup requirement our required time which is nothing but our clock period minus T setup T setup time of our capture flip flop. So our required time is this one, which is T minus T setup, and our arrival time. When the data is launched at the this clock edge, the data will arrive at the data pin of the capture flip flop. So the time it takes to arrive at the data pin of the capture flip flop is nothing but called arrival time. So when this data is launched, then the data has to reach as per the setup requirement, the data has to reach before T minus T setup time or required time. So, in order to meet the setup requirement, the data has to reach at or before the T minus T setup time. So, the maximum arrival time, what is the value of maximum arrival time? The value of maximum arrival time without causing any setup violations can be T minus T setup. So, if we consider the maximum arrival time and if with the maximum arrival time if there is no setup and hold timing uh, there is no setup timing violation that means if the arrival time is less than the maximum arrival time we are always in safe conditions there won't be any setup violation so friends if we consider the maximum value of this combinational delay and with that value if we say that our maximum arrival time is less than t minus c t setup that means for the less value our setup requirement is always going to be satisfied so while doing the setup analysis we have to consider the maximum value of combinational logic delay if with the maximum value of combinational logic delay 
our setup requirement is satisfying that means with less value our setup requirement is always going to be satisfied and the, or there is no issue with the less value so always remember for setup analysis we have to pick up the maximum value of combinational delay or if there is a range given for clock to queue delay as well for that value also we have to consider the maximum clock to queue delay while doing the setup analysis now let's see in the whole equation how this range is going to affect or which value we should pick up for fold analysis so as you already know the hold analysis is done at the same clock edge so the data is launched at this clock edge and the hold analysis is done at the same clock edge of capture flip flop so what we derive for the hold analysis is the t hold time of capture flip flop should be less than propagation delay which is nothing but c clock to q delay plus t combinational delay So friends, if you see this equation, if the minimum value, if we take the minimum value of T combinational logic and if with the minimum value, if this equation is satisfying, that means with more value, this equation is always going to be satisfied. So if we take the worst case, here actually we are basically taking the worst case where the setup can fail or the worst case where the hold can fail so if we take the worst condition and if that worst condition is passing that means our other old scenarios will be passing so for hold analysis if we take the worst minimum value of combinational the, the, the worst value of combinational so in hold equation the worst value is nothing but basically the minimum value of T combinational delay so if you take the minimum value of t combinational delay and with that minimum value it our this equation is satisfying that means for a more value this equation is always going to be satisfied so if we do the analysis for setup equation if we take the maximum value of combinational delay and if for hold analysis we take the minimum value of combinational delay and if with these values there is no setup and hold violation that means for any other values there won't be any hold and setup uh, failure so hope this question is clear or this point is clear now let's concentrate on this question so what they are saying is find the minimum setup and hold slack for the register to register timing path as given in the below digital circuit so here we are given clock to queue delay of both the flip-flop is 2 nanosecond and setup and hold time for both the flip-flop is 1.2 nanosecond. So here we have, to, we have to find the minimum setup and hold slack. Okay, so what is setup slack? Setup slack is nothing but required time minus arrival time. So here setup slack will become required time required time will become and here actually we are not given the clock period of uh, this circuit so let's assume the clock period of this circuit is 5 nanosecond so if so so here the setup slack will become required time minus arrival time the required time will be t minus t setup of capture flip flop and the arrival time will become t clock to q delay plus t combinational max value the maximum value of t combinational circuit so here it will become 5 minus t setup so t setup is nothing but 1.2 nanosecond minus t clock to q delay is 2 nanosecond plus combinational delay maximum is 2 nanosecond so here our setup slack will become 5 minus 1.2 which is 3.8 minus 4 this will become minus 0 0.2 so actually here there is a setup violation the setup slack is in minus so let's assume that the clock period is 6 nanoseconds so here actually we are not given any clock period the primary focus of this question is 
which value of the combinational logic delay we should consider for setup analysis and hold analysis if the value is given in a range. So here let's assume that there is no setup and hold violation in the real circuit and in with that conditions what will be the setup slack and hold slack. So if we consider our consider our pro period of the circuit is 6 nanosecond then if we take it 6 it will become 4.8 and it will become plus 0 0.8 so the minimum slack is 0 0.8 now let's see what is hold slack so hold slack is arrival time minus required time so here arrival time is nothing but t clock to q delay plus t combinational delay so as we discussed we have to take the minimum value of t combinational delay minus required time required time is nothing but t hold of capture flip flow that means this is 2 plus 1 minus t hold t hold is nothing but 1.2 and that means hold slack will become our 3 minus 1.2 that will become 1.8 no second so friends with these questions you have to take in assumption that the clock period of this circuit is given as 6 nanosecond so with clock period of 6 nanosecond and clock to q delay of both the flip flop is 2 nanosecond and setup and hold time for both the flip flop is 1.2 nanosecond and here the combinational logic delay is between 1 nanosecond to 2 nanosecond the minimum value is 1 nanosecond and the max value is 2 nanosecond so in this particular case we are asked to find the minimum setup and hold slack so the primary focus of this question is since here the combination logic delay is given in a range so which value we should pick up for setup and which value we should pick up for hold analysis so hope that point is clear in this question if you have any doubts please write down in the comment section also if you like this video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you will get notified as soon as i upload the next video thank you very much